we are going to work. We have a three-day trip today. It is Friday, January 21st, I believe. And we are doing two flights today to Nashville. Then we have three flights to Birmingham, Alabama tomorrow. And then we have three flights home on Sunday. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun trip. I do not know who I'm flying with. Uh, I don't recognize the names, but I may have seen them around. You know, there's so many flight attendants that work for our company. But I'm in the middle of getting ready and I wanted to come on here and tell you guys we're going to work. I'm a flight attendant for a US-based carrier. I've been with the company for 21 years and I'm going to take you along on the journey. I'm gonna get ready and then we'll jump in the car and head to the airport. I've got to check in in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, so we had a little bit of a tech issue. Um, for some reason, we have quite a few videos that do not have any sound on them. I'm wondering if we had a microphone malfunction, but in that case, take a look at the Nashville room tour, what you got to see on the last vlog. Uh, Ryan actually stayed at the same Nashville hotel, um, but we'll show you the room tour and then we'll pick it up the following day. made it to the hotel in Birmingham. It was a challenging day today, I'm not gonna lie. So our first leg to Dallas was fine. Um, not full, we had 104 passengers. That plane holds 143, so okay. We had some ground time, um, hour and 15 minutes before we departed to Houston. Changed planes, got off, went over to another gate. We we're there early. But one of our crew members went down to the lounge and they heated up food. So um, we have to have a full crew in order to board the aircraft or for the crew to leave because we had three passengers. It was a three flight. So there's passengers that were continuing on from Little Rock to Houston. And it was a continuing on flight number. So we all have to be on board for the crew change so we did that we had a passenger that needed to be checked out um, Houston to Birmingham this last leg by paramedics she had elevated um, blood pressure she ended up being okay so she was okay to fly and then on landing we had a passenger that got sick so I was cleaning up a mess so it's not always glamorous being a flight attendant but that's what we're there for um, just try to contain it and move on so everybody commended us for doing an awesome job and we did the best we could so but that's done and over with I've changed out of my clothes I've pretty much sprayed alcohol on all my stuff and considering that both Travis and I have already had the Rona. I'm not concerned about that, but you never know. I mean, she could have just been getting sick because of flying, you know, vertigo. I mean, there's multiple reasons why. So I'm not too worried about that. 
but unfortunately I didn't get any footage on the plane today because of it being a hard day and I changed it into street clothes already so I'll do a really quick room tour and then it's gonna be a short night because we lobby at 11.15 in the morning and it's already 11.45 p.m. so less than 12 hours I've got to be downstairs so I'm going to get my clothes ironed um, everything's set up for tomorrow and yeah so on that note let's do the room tour and then it's good night i'm trying to be quiet because i heard hear a crew member next door so let's do that room tour i was yours for the taking guess i needed a home but if i'm not mistaken you were good on your own oh. That's it for the room tour. I'm going to get my clothes ironed for tomorrow and get everything set up in the bathroom for tomorrow. Get the coffin maker ready and jump into bed because I'm exhausted. So good night and I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Bye. We are running on fumes this morning. I did get good sleep. However, I did wake up way too early. It was like 8.30 central time local time i just laid there i didn't want to move i was like well maybe i can go back to sleep i didn't i just laid there so i finally started exchanging text messages we have this little routine i'll text say good morning go make my coffee start sipping on it then i finally call travis and then i usually start vlogging but this morning i was just lagging i'm shot but it's a go home day we have three easy legs this first flight we're doing birmingham to las vegas it's blocked at four hours 15 hopefully we'll be a little bit early it just depends with the headwinds then we are going to do in that flight we have 90 passengers so we're gonna have like almost 50 empty seats then we're working las vegas to dallas it's full two hours and 35 and then dallas to austin is blocked at 105 we usually do it in like 48 minutes 52 minutes somewhere in there easy day it is our longest day coming off of our day yesterday which should have been an okay day i am just gonna go into it with a different mindset different attitude it's a new day we're gonna get through this because it's go home day we have two days off together travis and i and we will be preparing for our trip to puerto vallarta next tuesday for seven nights eight days we bought confirmed tickets we have a nice airbnb booked actually two we're gonna split it up we wanted to try these two different areas so yes, hopefully we'll get some good vlogging out of it. I know it's also a leisure, leisurely trip and we've done, I think this would be our third vlog for BVR, but we'll still vlog it and show you um, some really cool behind the scenes and some nice water photos or videos because we want to share it with you guys. Everyone's dealing with weather and throughout the country right now. And it's freezing cold out. I'm ready for some warmth and to warm it up. I do have a turn on Wednesday. I have a two day on Thursday, Friday, Saturday off. Sunday I have another turn. It's just a really quick DCA turn. So I do Austin DCA, DCA back to Austin, which is Reagan International in washington dc i am d on both those turns um i'm a on the two-day trip and it's orange county so only four more working days of this month and then we will close january out and start february i do have vacation the first week of february and so i don't have to worry about trading around trips or anything because i have the first 10 days off of the month so i'll have two days to recover after we get back on the 8th 
um, from Puerto Vallarta. All right, it's time to get ready. I am running behind, so let's run and jump in the shower, and I will check in with y'all as soon as I'm ready, and we're going downstairs for van slash lobby time at 11.15, and it's already like 10.45, so I need to scurry. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. Hey everyone, I am headed to DCA, so Reagan International, Washington, D.C. A little turn, it's one leg there, one leg back. We have like 60 passengers going and 70 coming back, so empty plane. I'm flying D, which is the fourth flight attendant on our 800 series aircraft. So there's gonna be like 115 empty seats. And today is my Monday, so I'm just getting started. But it is our last, my last full work week before we head off to Puerto Vallarta next Tuesday. So I'm ready to get this day started. I am training some new hires this week, which is exciting because we need them. But it's going to be a very busy week. I have another turn on Sunday and then I am done for the work week. So today is Wednesday, so I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday off to get prepared the house for our pet sitter and get our clothes ready for our trip. So I'm gonna say bye for now because I'm going into work, but Ryan will see you on the other side. Let's go through security. I was yours for the taking. Guess I needed a home. But if I'm not mistaken, you were good on your own. Oh. As you can tell, I'm in street clothes, so we are back home. 
my trip is over with it was nashville birmingham we hope you enjoyed this flight attendant vlog we're gonna call it a night i'm cooking us some dinner and we're preparing for our trip next week to Puerto Vallarta. We're so excited to have some beach time. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and do not forget to ring the bell so you can be notified every time we put out a new video. If this is not your first time here, welcome back and thank you for sticking around. Bye! We hit our expiration date. I want you to feel the weight, feel the hate.